Let's convert a percent to a decimal to a fraction. We have to understand how those, those numbers look in different contexts. So let's start here. This is going to be easy. We're going to start out with 50%. So if you think about this, think about how 100% looks like 1. I always think about this picture. Here's 1 pi. Do you see it? Maybe it's your favorite kind of pie. Maybe it's an apple pie. All right, it's all there. That's 100% of the pie, and it's equal to 1 pie. As a decimal, that's 1 decimal point zero zero. Those two amounts are equal, 1 and 100%. So let's look at this. Formulaically, 100% to a decimal. I'm going to make the decimal look two places smaller with the decimal point. So 50%, write that number to change it to a decimal. You're going to have to move it two places to the left to make it look smaller. We're dividing by 100 here. Percent means out of 100. So when you turn change percent to a decimal, you divide by 100 by moving two places to the left. Two zeros and 100 two places in terms of decimal. So 50% equals 50 hundredths or 5 tenths. If you look at this graphic organizer, again, see how 100% looks an awful lot like 100? It's just this is divided by 100. And this is 100 times bigger than this number, but it's got the percent sign because it means out of 100. So here we are right here. Here's our decimal point five zero, like 50 cents. That's 50% of 100%. All right. This is pretty clever in terms of converting the decimal number to a fraction. All you have to do is <clears throat> think of this. Underline the two digits. You're underlining two places, so two place holding zeros. Put in your 1 because this is your 1's place over here just to ground everything in your decimal place holding zeros, two. So it's 50 hundredths, 50 hundredths. You can simplify that fraction to one half.